What's going on guys this is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. So guys in this video I am going to show you that how you can install Ubuntu server operating system into Proxmox and create a virtual Ubuntu server. So without further ado let's get started. But before that if you are new to this channel then please do subscribe this YouTube channel and if you have already subscribed then thank you so much. Ok so guys right now you can see my computer skin. If I open my browser. Here you can see I am running the Proxmox virtual environment 8.1.3. Now let me guide you how you can install a Ubuntu server operating system into this Proxmox and create a virtual Ubuntu server. So take a tab on your browser and search for Ubuntu server ISO. Google Ubuntu server ISO. Then go to this link ubuntu.com slash download slash server. Go to this link and from here click on manual server installation then using this button you can download the ubuntu server 22.04 lts version operating system iso file i had already downloaded it so i'm not going to download it again just click on this link and you should start downloading the ubuntu server iso file then get back to your proxmox virtual environment and from here select your disk where you want to keep your iso file i'm going to select this hdd1 then from here click on iso image then click on upload then click on select files and now you have to choose the iso file of your ubuntu server operating system select your ubuntu server operating system from here and click on open and it should start uploading the ubuntu server iso file into your proxmox now let me show you that how you can create a ubuntu virtual server using this proxmox now click on this create vm button then from the node select proxmox because we have only one single node then here it is going to automatically assign a vm id for your virtual machine then in the name field you have to name your server whatever you want here i am going to type u server that means ubuntu server it's my choice it's up to you so i'm going to type here u server then click on next then from this os section click on storage and select your hard drive where you keep the iso file then click on iso image and select your ubuntu server iso file now from the type select linux and make sure the version is the updated kernel then click on next now from here you can keep everything default now from here you have to select where you want to keep this ubuntu server vm files you can select the hard drive or you can select the local vm here i am going to keep it on a hard drive and for this ubuntu virtual machine i am going to give 80 gb then click on next then from the cpu make sure to give at least two core in your virtual server here i am going to give two cores then click on next and from the memory section you can assign a ram size for your virtual server so 2 gb ram is more than enough for ubuntu server so i am going to keep it default then click on next then again do not change anything on this network setting then click on next then click on finish now give it a some time and you will see a new virtual machine appear with the name u server or whatever you assign or give during the creation of vm ok so you can see the vm id name is changed to the name whatever i set during the creation of the vm so here you can see u server vm and here you can see all the summary of your virtual machine like the CPU usage, memory usage, boot disk size, overall, all information. Now to start this virtual machine, click on console, then click on start. And now your Ubuntu virtual machine should start. And here you can see from this menu, now you can easily install the Ubuntu server into your Proxmox. Let me guide through it. Select try or install Ubuntu server, then press enter. And now your VM should boot from the ISO. After some time, you will get this Ubuntu installer screen. Now from this screen, you have to select your language. I am going to keep with the default English. Then press enter. Then from here, select continue without updating. We don't want to update the installer right now. So I am going to select continue without updating. Then press enter. Then from here, you can select your keyboard language and variant. I am going to keep with the default English US, then select done and press enter. Now here I want to install the Ubuntu server with the default option, so I am going to select the Ubuntu server option. 
if you want you can select the ubuntu server minimal or you can add additional option i am going to keep with the ubuntu server then i'm going to select done then press enter now from here you can assign a static ip address for your ubuntu server so i'm going to select the ethernet option then press enter then from here i'm going to select edit ipv4 then from the automatic option i'm going to change it to manual then here i'm going to type the subnet mask in my case 192.168.0.0 slash 24 this is my subnet then here in the address field i'm going to assign an ip address for this ubuntu server here i'm going to type 192.168.0.150 i'm going to give this 150 ip address to this ubuntu server then go to gateway field and type your router gateway here i'm going to type 192.168.0.1 and for the name server i'm going to use the google ip address so i'm going to type here 8.8.8.8 then i'm going to select save option then press enter here you can see the changes has been applied now you scroll down and select done then press enter then again press enter now it's going to automatically add some mirror to your ubuntu server okay now select done then press enter now from here you can select in which disk you want to install the ubuntu server in our case we are going to use the virtual disk drive which is qma hard disk drive and we give it 80 gb so here you can see the disk if i press enter then get back to this done option select done and press enter then again press enter then select continue then press enter now here you have to create a user account for your ubuntu server here i am going to type my name mehdi shakil then get down and here you have to type your server name here i am going to type you server as the name of the server then select pk username and type a username for the user account here i am going to type mehdi shakil then select choose password and set a password for your user account here i am going to type my password then again select confirm your password and type the password again then select done and press enter then click on continue now if you want to install the OpenSSH server and if you want to access your ubuntu server using the ssh you have to install the OpenSSH server and press the space bar to select this option then scroll down and select done option then press enter then get back to the done option and press enter and now it's going to start installing this ubuntu server into your virtual hard drive it's going to take some time to complete this installation so you have to wait okay guys so when the ubuntu server get installed you will get here an option called reboot you have to select this option reboot now and press enter and it will reboot your ubuntu server machine so select it then press enter then while rebooting it will ask you to remove the cd-rom or the iso image so for this go to hardware then from here select cd dvd then click on remove then click on yes then again go to console and press enter and now your ubuntu server virtual machine should start automatically it's gonna take some time for the first time reboot and after the reboot your ubuntu server virtual machine is ready to use okay guys so the now reboot has been completed and here you can see it gives us an option called u server login where we have to type our server username in my case this is mehdi shakil type the username then press enter then type the server password then press enter now here you can see guys we have successfully logged in into our ubuntu server and here you can see the ip address of this ubuntu server 192.168.0.150 now let me show you how you can get ssh access to this ubuntu server so i'm going to minimize this proxmox browser then i'm going to click on start and search for cmd then here i'm going to type ssh then my ubuntu server username which is mehdi shakil then at the rate then i'm going to type my ubuntu server ip address which is 192.168.0.150 then press enter then here you have to type yes then press enter then type your ubuntu server password in my case i'm going to type my password here then press enter okay so guys here you can see i am login via the ssh into our ubuntu server machine and now you can take use your ubuntu server so guys like this you can easily install and create ubuntu server virtual machine into the proxmox so guys that's all for today i hope you like this video if you really like this video and enjoyed this video then please give it a big thumbs up 
and share this video with your friends. And guys, if you're new to this channel, then please do subscribe this YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I'm Mehdi Shakil, you're watching this tech tutorial and I'm signing out.